Greetings students. Today we are going to learn about one of China's leading company, China National Petroleum. Let us know this company in a much better way. CNPC is a Chinese state-owned oil and gas corporation and the largest integrated energy company in the People's Republic of China. It has its headquarters in Dongcheng District, Beijing. CNPC is the government-owned parent company of public-listed PetroChina, a company created on November 5, 1999 as part of the restructuring of CNPC. In the restructuring, CNPC injected into PetroChina most of the assets and liabilities of CNPC relating to its exploration and production, refining and marketing chemicals and natural gas businesses. CNPC and PetroChina developed overseas assets through a joint venture, CNPC Exploration and Development Company, CNODC, which is 50% owned by PetroChina. We told you about that major oil deal between the government of Afghanistan and the China National Petroleum Corporation. Now the president of that company and the Afghan Minister of Mines are speaking out about the landmark agreement. A Chinese state-owned company, China National Petroleum Corporation, or CNPC, signed a 25-year contract with Afghanistan. CNPC is the first foreign company to win a major oil deal in Afghanistan. The Chinese regime will gain access to millions of barrels of oil, while Afghan authorities expect to reap billions of dollars in revenue over two decades. The contract covers oil exploration and production in the northern Afghan provinces of Seripul and Faryab. In a joint venture, CNPC and Afghan company Wanton Group will search for oil in the Amu Darya river basin. The basin is believed to hold nearly 90 million barrels of oil. CNPC President Lu Gongshun does not have the exact figures. For the development, we only can give you the rough the number for initial investment. Based on my experience, should be around minimum 400 million US dollars. Afghanistan's Minister of Mines says the oil project will open hundreds of career opportunities for Afghans. Indeed, today is a historical day in Afghan history. This is the first time that Afghanistan signs a great contract for its country's oil exploitation. Shahrani says oil prices will vary according to global market fluctuations. The term of contract will be 25 years long. The cost of each barrel will depend on the time of exploitation and will be counted based on cost of oil in the international market. Shahrani says the joint venture will enhance Afghanistan's economy. We estimate that within 23 years, the income of Afghanistan will be 7 billion U.S. dollars. This is the second major deal for a Chinese company, but the first for Afghanistan in decades. In 1949, the Chinese government formed a fuel industry ministry dedicated to the management of fuel. In January 1952, a sub-department of the fuel ministry was formed to manage petroleum exploration and mining. It was called the Chief Petroleum Administration Bureau. In July 1955, a new ministry was created to replace the fuel industry ministry. It was called the Ministry of Petroleum. From 1955 to 1969, approximately four oil fields were found in four areas in Quanghai, Halo, Jiang, Daging oil field, Bohai Bay and Songlio Basin. CNPC was finally created in 17 September 1988 when the government decided to disband the Ministry of Petroleum and created a state-owned company to handle all petroleum activities in China. 1993 marks the beginning of CNPC international operation. CNPC signed a service contract with the government of Peru to manage the Talara oil field. It was followed by an oil contract with the government of Sudan. Further, in July 1998, the company was restructurized by the government in accordance with the upstream and downstream principle of oil industry. In October 2005, it purchased Petro-Kazakhstan for US dollar 4.8 billion. 
On 5th November 2007, CNPC's HK-listed subsidiary PetroChina was also listed as an A-share in the Shanghai Stock Exchange. CNPC and INI signed a $4.2 billion deal in July 2013 to acquire a 20% stake in Aki. Mozambique Offshore Natural Gas Block CNPC holds proof reserve of 3.7 billion barrels of oil equivalent. In 2007, CNPC produced 54 billion cubic meters of natural gas. CNPC has 30 international exploration and production projects with operation in Azerbaijan, Canada, Iran, Indonesia, Myanmar, Oman, Peru, Sudan, Thailand, Turks, Manistan, and Venezuela. The exploration projects, both domestic and overseas, are run by a wholly owned subsidiary, the Great Wall Drilling Company, GWDC. CNPC began development of Ahadab, an oil field in Wasit Governorate, holding a modest 1 billion barrels in March 2009, becoming the first significant foreign investor in Iraq. Being a petrol company, CNPC has had its fair share of accidents. On 23rd December 2003, a gas blowout occurred at the Louisiana No. 16H gas wall. 243 people died, 2,142 were hospitalized. In 2005, there were explosions at a CNPC-owned petrochemical plant causing six deaths, a mass evacuation and a massive oil spilled over the Songhua River. A gas pipeline exploded on 20 January 2006 in Sichuan. Reportedly, nine were killed and nearly 40 injured. In 2009, a CNPC pipeline burst, spilling 5,300 cubic feet of diesel oil into the Shishun River in Sangzi province. The operation of a CNPC subsidiary in Chad was entirely suspended in August 2013 by the country's government after it violated environmental standards while drilling for crude oil in the south of the country. So students, we went through the company's history to its present market scenario. Hope the information was useful. Have a nice day.